Hello everyone, it's Jessica and I'm back with another layout for Not Just For Boys Kit Club. Today I'm using the November Rain Limitless Kit. And here is all the beautiful pieces that comes with it. And a cut file. So um, I grabbed this one from the shop. It's a nice little reef fall cut file. And I am using some Lindy's Magicals powder. So I'm pairing this up with the challenge for this month, which is to try something new on your layout. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling out my Lindy's powders, which I very rarely ever use or pull out and I'm trying something new because I am actually using this on a dark piece of patterned or <laughs> patterned a dark piece of textured cardstock so this came from the shop also along with my cardstock cut and I'm trying it along with this I don't know if this is gonna work out to be honest <laughs> my little one here is grabbing all of my papers from the kit um, I don't know if this is gonna work out but you know what I'm gonna try it so I've just sprinkled some powders directly on to my paper and then I'm just going to spritz it with water just being careful that I don't wet it down too much because this water is going to really soak up in the into the paper so I don't want the paper to end up getting ripped or too warped or anything so I am just making sure that this is exactly where I want it to be I'm spreading a little bit around on this side um, just to just to spread it out a little bit because it didn't really go exactly where I wanted it to. So I am just using my paintbrush and some water, just dabbing up the little bits here. And I'm just making sure I get most of that powder watered down to activate the color. So I like the way that this is looking. Um, I am just going to put my Lindy's away because I'm done with that. I'm just going to dry up a little bit of that water just because it was pulling on my paper and I don't want it to, again, rip my paper or warp it up too bad. So my baby girl has just arrived in the room and she's talking up a storm. Hi. <laughs> So now I am just adding some gold color shine by Heidi Swap, and I'm doing that by just spritzing some here onto my packaging and then just basically dripping it onto my layout and then kind of smushing it around a little bit just to blend some gold into those already existing colors on my background. So I'm going to let that dry for now. I went ahead and backed my cut file and you guys seriously this took me forever i backed it manually i did not show that on camera because it it took me so long but my background is now dry so that's the plus side because all that time i took to back the cut file is um made my background already dry so it worked out just great um but yeah it took me a while to back that one but i really really love how it turned out it just looks so pretty and i used all the papers from the kit to back all of the various things on this cut file. The little corn and pumpkin, there's a little squirrel and fox, there's some leaves. Um, I just love it and I love how it turned out. So I have a photo here that I'm going to use today of my baby girl from her newborn shoot and as you all know, you've been following my videos, you know that she is now um, a year old and I can't believe it. I don't know where this past year has gone but this is from her newborn photo shoot. It's one of my photo favorite photos of her. And she's here beside me. Hi. And uh, I have just backed it with some smooth white cardstock first. And then I use some striped patterned paper from, um, I think it's from one of the other kits actually, that was just still laying here on my desk. It's those little stripes, those black and white stripes are my favorite pattern ever. And I tend to back my photos a lot with that. And I still had it laying here um, beside me from one of my previous layouts that I just did. So I just used it on this. I'm pulling out some 3D foam tape from a thermal web that I'm just going to cut little strips out and back my cut file here with it so that I can actually pop that up off of my page, giving that some dimension. So I've fast forwarded that and I'm just going to go ahead and place that down onto my mixed media there. It was a little off from where I wanted it to go originally, so I had to peel it back up. But that's where it's going to sit. You can see all that lovely mixed media poking out. And my paper didn't actually warp up too bad. I'm just kind of folding it back because the corners were kind of lifting up a little bit. And I wanted it to sit a little bit flatter. So that's why I was bending it. But I have all the little um, die cut ephemera here from this kit. And if you cut um, last month's kit, it actually coordinates with that one too. Because it has that farmhouse pack in there. Um, so it actually coordinates. So I've pulled that out too. 
And I'm actually going to use a couple of the title piece bits from that pack from last month's kit on this. So my Nuva glue is almost empty. So you see me really squeezing it. I'm trying to get the last little bits out of it. I think it's actually this layout that I, I actually throw it away and get a new one out. But I try to use up as much as I can in those little bottles. But I just added a little trim piece that's actually trim from one of our previous kits as well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add a couple things to this cut file. I don't want to add a whole lot over the cut file because I just love all of it so much. And I don't want to cover any of that up. I it took, me, it took me a while to back it and I spent a lot of work and time on that. So I really want to show it because it's just so pretty. So I am just adding a couple glue dots here to this little vellum piece. I didn't want to add any um, tape adhesive to it because I didn't want it to show through being it's vellum. It's really hard to see on this layout, but I think it says like you are gorgeous, gorgeous, like a gourd. Um, I think that's what it says or something like that. But um, it's when I edit these videos, it's so small on my screen. So it's very hard for me to actually read what it says right now. But I think that's what it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, pulling out some foam squares here, some small ones. I'm just going to pop up this title because it's going to sit right on top of that trim. And it kind of lays a little bit funny unless I pop it up. So I'm going to go ahead and add some foam squares to the back of this. Peel those backings off. Get that attached to my layout right at the top of my photo. I'm not going to add a whole lot. Like I said, I really want that cut file and that mixed media to shine. So I don't want to add a whole lot of embellishments to this one to take away from those elements. So I'm just adding my title here. I'm gonna pull out a couple flowers and add beside that. I like this little I love you. So I'm gonna add that there. Um, I just, she's just so super sweet. This newborn shoot was just amazing. She did awesome, um, better than my boys did. She slept through most of it, but she was making all kinds of cute little faces during it. And she was just adorable. Um, she did so great. And I just love how the, her pictures turned out. Um, the photographer that did her newborn pictures actually did her one year photo shoot that I had done not too long ago too. So um, they turned out amazing as well. I just love her. So here I'm just adding some letters. Um, these are some small ones from the kit. I think it was from this kit or maybe even last month's kit. I, I think maybe last month's kit if I remember right. Um, so I'm just adding these and I haven't used any yet. So it was perfect to bust those out on this layout and they matched up perfectly. And I love how like all the fall things tend to go together. So I have a humongous fall bin or actually two bins now of fall stuff. And I can just pull out that bin and just add things to pretty much any layout because everything coordinates. It's all the same type of color scheme. I just love it. So here I've added a couple little flowers by my title and I'm pulling out some sequins from uh, one of the previous kits that we had and they just matched up so well with this layout. So Right there, you can see me still milking the, that Nuvo glue, but I think this is actually where I hang it up and I grab a brand new one. Yep, it is. So this is a new one here. It comes out so fast. That was not what I was used to because <laughs> I was used to like having to wait for it to come down to the top and um, having to squeeze it to get it out. And then this one's coming out super, super fast, faster than I like. So I have to get used to this again. But I'm just gluing down those little bits and then I'm going to glue down my little sequins. I just make little dots and use my sequin tool from Amazon to grab them and um, stick them onto my layout. So I'll fast forward this here in a bit for you so you don't have to watch me put down every single sequin. And then I will show you the finished layout. Again, if you guys want to grab that kit from the shop, I will link it below and make sure you grab it because they do tend to sell out fast. So here's the finished result. I just love how this one came out. It's so super sweet with her and this beautiful cut file and that mixed media. And I'm so glad that I tried something new today. So guys, if you want to participate in this challenge, you can as well in our Facebook group, which I'll link below for you. Also, just pop your layout into the coordinating album. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.